Welcome back. Chapter 3. Personal Power Through Awareness by Sanaya Roman. Um, this is a great book. I, I, I just finished the section on chapter 2 and, and I'm going to pretend like I didn't and I'm going to do this one and probably stick some stuff in between because I got to keep going, right? Understanding the direction, um, understanding and directing the unseen energies around you. So this one starts off, the more you can become aware of other people's energy, the more you can become aware of your own inner guidance, right? So basically what it's saying is um, to separate, separate, categorize, compartmentalize. You may not be the reason that you are feeling the way you're feeling, right? I'm going to say that again for the cover shot. You may not be the reason you're feeling the way you're feeling. At the end of the last chapter, they talked about being aware of the energies around you, the energies in your house, um, how to change your energy, uh, how to change your perception of an energy uh, once you've encountered it. That's in the last section. This section is much more direct. This one is understanding that if you feel shitty, it may not be you. It may not be you causing that. Are you thinking of someone that thinks you're shitty? Are you seeing yourself through the reflective lens of someone else's opinion? Are you seeing yourself through an altered version of yourself? Are you seeing yourself as a pinpoint of right now instead of the microcosm of your entire life? What are you seeing? Have you been a good person for the last 30 years and the last five years has been kind of off that's not even a huge percentage. I'm not gonna do the math on that, 0% chance, right? But <laughs> you, and this is a big thing for me. This was huge for me. This is, I thought everything was my fault. I thought everything was my responsibility. I thought every time somebody had um, resting bitch face or was upset at something, it was directed at me. And I handled those situations like that. So imagine not being mad at someone and sitting kind of in your own fields and kind of just in your own zone and just kind of, you know, humble, chilled out. Somebody's like, what's going on? Why are you mad? Why are you mad at me? What I do? I ain't do nothing. Why are you mad? Why are you mad? Stop being mad. Why are you mad? Don't you just want to punch that person? Aren't you now mad at them? Don't you just want to punch them in the throat? Right? We have to identify when other people are feeling such a way and not interrupt their process, man. I keep looking at the mindset of millionaires. I keep looking at the mindset and the behaviors of billionaires and they have this look in their face and it's this concentrated look and I've always been wondering what it is and I think this is it. I think they're just bringing in the energies from the world around them, interpreting them and relaying the valuable information that the universe needs to hear the most, not even selfishly for them, but just what is the value of the content that they're putting out? What is the value of the action they're taking? And if you can do this properly, the world is yours because you're no longer hindered by feeling like shit all the time. You no longer have your ego blown up and exacerbated because somebody wants something from you. The best thing you can know sometimes is uh, the best thing you can do sometimes is say no to a situation. Or an opportunity. You know, what is perceived at that time as an opportunity. You have to be aware of what's going on around you and what to do with it. It's really important. This is Bear. And that's what's up.